step in our project that I do is loads of fun. I've made brand new friends here and I'll definitely come next year. We have plenty of friends. It's everything to do with you. We don't have to pay. We have free bus journeys. It's awesome. Jenny was running a project called Stepping Out, which was about getting young people involved in more activity outside, and I just thought it was a fantastic idea. And I got in touch with some of the young people I was working with to see who was interested, and we put together a group. I like to come to make new friends, and then um, it's just more stuff to do, and I like to stuck in the house and um, to get more energetic and more fit. I can't wait until we do brand new activities day after day. Now gorge walking is really fun. It gives you a chance to do something you've never done before. The whole Stepping Up project does that actually. You like, one day you'll be sitting at home on the PlayStation, the next you'll be going down rabbit in a canoe. It's like, wow! Well to start off with, um, in this area we ran an initial taster day where I took a group of Tracy's young people out. Um, we went up to an outdoor adventure centre called Ennis Howell, I think in Vellum Back, and they put on some uh, mountain biking and archery sessions for us throughout the day. We had all kinds of weather from torrential rain and hailstones in the morning, right up to glorious sunshine in the afternoon. And we went from there then and did some horse riding in the evening. Since then we've done everything from kayaking, canoeing, skiing. gorge walking, skiing, bushcraft, photography yeah, workshops. Bushcraft. Oh, you name it, we've done it, and we've just had so as long much as it, fun. As long as it can be done outdoors. Feeling excited and full of adrenaline, and I'm gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> projects gone we've encouraged and we've motivated and we've got people to try different things to overcome fears and the confidence is built so much that they can go off and do other things now they don't feel scared to you know go and do something on their own or try something new. I'm really afraid of heights and I overcome my fear by jumping off the top of this mountain and jumping off the top of this big like a waterfall thing. Go to walking I really liked because I've never jumped off waterfalls or never even thought of doing that stuff before. The people we've worked with have been really good. Yeah. They've been really young person focused and they've really they've really added to the project I think. And if the bonds in and if the team build that we feel that is within the project. We started the Gorge Walk quite slowly, working on communication, um, me communicating with the group and then also the kids communicating with each other. Um, at the start it was quite difficult, they were quite embarrassed with kind of being quite direct with each other. As the challenges kind of increased, the difficulty level increased, the students' uh, participation level had to increase. Also, in line with that came their communication that they did with each other. Some of the boys especially were really, really kind of passionate with each other and helped each other out, kind of putting out each other's arms. And um, one of the lads found it very difficult on the train, kind of standing up, so people were kind of dead, willing to give a hand. Um, and then we came to the, one of the trickier parts of the gorge walk, which is jumping off one of the waterfalls. There was a lot of good, positive communication. What I mean by positive communication is they were encouraging each other, they were telling them how to do it, and they were also drawing on their past experiences of jumping off the waterfall to encourage the students who are finding it a little more difficult. So, how was the jump? Cold, but also. Oh, also the journey, the journey, the journey, I can't say it now. The journey, yeah, the rush. Oh. Would you ever do it again? Yes, <laughs> therefore. evaluation about, about the week and the filming project overall. Um, also trying to find out if they've learned anything since they've been on the project and, and then I'm going to ask them, um, I don't think any of them have got to it yet, but what they want to do in the future and um, I'm going to ask them, tell them if they give me a good enough reason why then we might just let them try some, some new activities. She asked us if we'd write um, what we wanted to do 
in the six weeks really hard like day, I think it's good that the gal and the opinions are more we It's like one of our one of them says like how has it made me feel? It's like sometimes it like really makes me feel like I wanna go home and like like I wanna show me just wanna go straight to bed after a hot bath and other times it makes me feel like I proud of myself and things I've done over the past couple of days. Like today I wanted to go back to the car but we stuck me and sat down for a bit like and stick by the fire and like do mean start getting into things like kind of a tree and stuff. And then it's alright after that like it's the transformation. It's a, you know, with this group now, we whenever we got here, it was mud, wet. I don't like it. You know, I want to go home. But once everybody gets into this sort of the, the spirit of things and, and kind of forgets their comfort zone, and you really start enjoying yourself, then you, so you, you stop seeing the woods as a sort of unpleasant environment, and you start to see it as a an environment that you can you can adapt to and you can actually control to a certain extent and make it comfortable for yourself. And that's what bushcraft is all about. It's knowing how to adapt and become comfortable in any environment. Uh, what, what are you enjoying in here? What are you drinking? Tea. Tea. We just made that ourselves. Off the fire. Ah, chill out. I like this place most. Yeah. It's just very peaceful and you can just get used to it. It's beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. I like I like nature anyway, so I'm out at you. I like being in the woods. It's like I can really come alive at you. I like building up my fitness, my stamina, and my speed, really. It's nice to come up here and have some freedom and some peace and quiet. I would describe it as a spectacular place to climb and walk and spectacular beautiful views. This is a star moss because it's in shape with star like. And we had to find this along with two other different mosses. I just found a water spider. There it is. This is our flat now. Would you ever look back on your experiences with Stefano? Yeah. 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 So that's why we kept the diamonds for. You should see how much fun you've had. I do, I actually paddle. Can you remember? That on both sides, was it? Yeah, we were really good, weren't we? Yeah. What, what are you feeling about the teeth you like, looking oh. forward to it? <laughs> yeah. How much? 10 out of 5? Yeah. 10 out of 5. Yeah. Out of 5. Yeah. Yeah. Out of five. Yeah. five. Kayaking and canoeing. Um, even when it's raining, we still done it. And it didn't make a difference, it just made it more fun. Tim's Diary 2009. I've a lovely photo on here of our fan page. And just think what friends I need, what skills I learn. You like going in the donuts? Yeah? What's, what's fun about the donuts? It's Craig was spinning key fast. When Craig was spinning key fast? Yeah. Was he screaming loud? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I remember that day. Well, first of all, I'll have one or two girls in the uh, middle. Then I'm going to go through to my, uh, my top or my uh, jumps out. Not only are they wanting to do activities now, but they're, they're starting to think about things like their CVs and they're saying to me, but is there anything I could do to, you know, help help my CV? And they've asked if they can do first aid courses, and we're looking at Duke of Edinburgh award schemes and different um, qualifications through the activity. So anything just to sort of, you know, give them an extra step up in life and and hopefully help them develop in the future. It's helped me with school because I'm doing the Duke. Of, I'm doing the Duke of Edinburgh and. That's going to help me get four GCSEs. I'm on my level four skiing now, and there's only eight levels. I've done level three, one, two, and I'm really proud of that, and I've got certificates and all for it. I've always wanted to do um, something with sports, and then I, I was like, I've changed my mind a little bit, oh, well, maybe I want to do this, I want to do that. Then because of all this now, like, and I definitely do want, when I'm older, do something to do with sports. I want to get like a job, part-time job here, right? So, and we put, this, we put this on our CV as well. Yeah, I think it'd be really good. Give other people a, a chance. chance to learn new skills for uh, later on in life. And as much as I enjoy it now, really. From what I can see, an excellent programme trying to get um, 
children or young adults into um, the outdoors through education, training purposes is an excellent kind of resource that um, definitely more people could take advantage of. Starting out is way to make the hopes my life because um, I don't just sit around in the house no more and um, being like bored and um, you get more energetic and more fitter. Steph and Ant's made a difference in my life because I never used to be like sociable. I only had like a few friends but I quite I know quite a lot of people now. I don't waste time in as much because I got something to do with stepping out. So I sat sometimes I sit there all day thinking of what to do. And I think it's something and it's too late. So stepping out saved me uh, time. It does.